morning, Father, we honor you today. We thank you that these are the days of Noah, meaning that there is coming and in process a flood. But God, not a flood of natural water, but a flood of glory that comes by your Spirit. Lord, it's moving in the earth. And it's only going to get stronger and stronger and stronger. The Lord of the flood, the Lord of the flood, the Lord of the flood, the Lord of the flood of glory. And as you come, you will continually shake the nations. Causing such a shaking even among leaders, rulers to bring about your divine reset that you have promised and to release a global freedom and so Lord we're very grateful we're very thankful for what you're doing and I pray today that you would help men, those that are listening and watching and will watch. Let them see that your hand is moving, that your hand is greater. And Lord, the greatest hour I believe upon your calendar of events is unfolding. And we worship you. Now, Father, I pray that you would bless every person in the sound of my voice. I ask that you would touch them. I ask you to meet whatever need they have exceedingly, abundantly, beyond all they could ask or think. I pray that you would minister your grace, your mercy, your help in their time of need. And I pray that they would sense your goodness, your faithfulness, your strength, your healing hand, the hand that blesses. And I pray that you would stretch them out towards the people and upon them now. They don't have to be afraid. They don't have to have their hearts be troubled. Be of good cheer, Jesus said. I'm with you always. And so we honor you and we bless you. all the people said amen amen Amen. praise God well I want you to do this I want you to turn around I want you to share your name with someone and then I want you just to tell them say hey I am registered for opening the heavens how can I get you registered all right and you can tell them to go to opening the heavens dot is it org dot org amen greet one another in the name of the Lord Opening the heavens. I like that. The lion has roared. You know the scripture says that the lion has roared. Who but can prophesy? So we're going we're gonna to have God speak to us. In fact, it was great uh, this week. I've already talked to Pastor Rod. He's uh, so excited to come, Pastor Rod Parsley. Talked to Kat Kerr and uh, also Robin Bullock this week. They are excited to deliver the word of the Lord. Tony Soares, Kent Christmas is very excited. <laughs> And so it's going to be a great time. And so make sure that you register for opening the heavens. And um, it's going to be, God's going to be here. Now, also, those of you in the Fort Worth area, I will be uh, there tonight, 6 p.m. live. It starts. And um, I just want you to know this. Are you ready? People have been wondering, well, Pastor Hank, what do you think about some of the things that's going on right now with I'm of Apollos, I'm of Paul, I'm of Peter, I'm of Christ. I am so excited about having Kat Kerr and Robin Bullock at my conference. I'm so honored to have them. And also, I'm so thrilled to be going to Fort Worth, Texas tonight and standing with my Foxhole buddies, Mario Murillo and uh, Lance Walnow and Pastor Gene Bailey and Charlie Kirk. And we're going to tear it up. And I'm not going to allow the enemy to have his way. There you go. (laughs) 
All right. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. The National Enquirer exists because people like drama and gossip. <laughs> and we ain't going to give the devil the Jerry Springer show, so there you go. <laughs> All right, well, it's offering time. This is the weather report. So, all right, the giving information is on the screen, and uh, there's different ways that you can, you can give. I don't know what they are. Envelope? We still give by envelopes. <laughs> How many of you still balance uh, with the, regularly with your checkbook? I just opened a new account, and I just got a, some checks, and I have the checkbook register. I'm like, I don't even remember how to do that. But I thank God because, you know, Brenda knows how to, like, manage all this stuff. And so, anyway, she'll help me out with that. I'll just spend, and then she just figures it out. <laughs> Mailing, you got the post office box there, website. And I think our new app is no longer coming soon. I think it's here, right? It's here. What app is that? The LOH app. LOH app. And you are app to give. That's what the Bible says, be apt to teach, but now you need to be apt to, to, to give. Are you all here? <laughs> okay. And then we've got, uh, you can scan or code. That's crazy. You know, I never liked that when you have to hold your phone up at the restaurant, you know, you're like, are you downloading something on my phone, you know? But anyway, and the menu comes up and all that. And praise God. I know you're looking at me wanting me to tell you the announcement. This is the, this is the weather report. This is the weather report. Okay. Huh? <laughs> what, what did somebody say? Skip it? No! You always have the weather before the sports. Don't you, don't you, watch, the, don't you watch the news? All right, but anyway, giving information is on the screen. I want to share an offering scripture with you. And... Um, the, the scripture that I want to share with you is out of Genesis 26. I mean, you all are just looking at me. Are you? Okay, ushers, make sure they have giving information. Make sure that they have an offering envelope in their hands. So anyway, I want to share a, a scripture with you regarding giving. And it's this. In Genesis 26, God reveals an important thing about giving in difficult or challenging times. One of the reasons why Brenda and I can even make an announcement after this weather report is because we've had a history of giving. In fact, right here, I have a very large seed that I'm sowing when I get down to Fort Worth because I know the principle. Right? You got to sow a seed. You got to keep, keep that blessing out there. And so I've got a very large uh, seed here. Man, it's so heavy. Um, but anyway, and but I, the return is even heavier. Whoa, glory to God, Lord. But anyway, look at this. And there was a famine in the land besides the first famine. So there was, you know, famine. That was in the days of Abraham. And Isaac went up to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, unto Gerar. And the Lord appeared unto him and said, go not down. So he, God didn't want him doing disco. Get not down. Okay. This was country. This was country. So it wasn't disco. It was more country. So get down to Egypt. See, he's telling him, go down to Egypt. So he's talking, you know, don't do disco. Go, go country. Go Egypt. And dwell in the land which I shall tell thee of. I love messing with you today because you're all just like not even listening to me. It's all like blah, 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 blah. Okay. And he said, go down in the land and I'll be with you. And I'll bless you. So God's saying, go down in the middle of difficult times. I'm going to bless you. Now, remember when the prophet showed up in 1 Kings 17, Elijah, and the lady was out gathering sticks so that he, she and her kids could die. And uh, the prophet came and said, look, lady, fetch me some water and go get me some meal cake. Make me a cake first. Well, he was showing an important principle in difficult times. You've got to learn how to give. How about Luke 21? The widow who gave her poor last little mites. Not the kind that eat up your stuff, but talking about little coins. And Jesus didn't even stop her and say, whoa, lady, you're giving the last that you have because he understands the principle. She had a difficult time. She was in a season of difficulty. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been given the last of all she had. 
But that's the key of getting blessing. Jesus knew if she puts those two little coins in, she's sowing into the greatest banking system there is that has the greatest interest. It's called God's interest. He's interested in blessing you. Amen? And opening the heavens over you. And so let's go back to our text real quick. And in Genesis 26, God says, I'm going to bless you. Now watch what happens. In verse 12. And so Isaac sojourned in the land. In other words, he sowed. He sowed in that land. Now what's that mean? He planted seed. This is seed. It's going to go into some good soil. And I'm going to get a hundredfold return over this ministry. Amen. And I'm personally sowing. And I'm going to get a hundredfold return there. So you have to understand as the offering uh, containers go by or the giving information is on the screen. Those of you that are watching, it's your opportunity in hard times, difficult times, to sow, to give, to plant something for a later harvest. That's how you stay blessed. And watch, in the same year, but, 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 but the gas prices were high. There was inflation and a jackal in the White House. But the Lord blessed him. Why? Because he put to practice what Jesus taught the disciples that they didn't get a clue about. And that is the sower, Mark 4, sows the word. Everything in the kingdom, he said, if you understand the principle of you sow a seed, you give and you will receive. You reap what you want. So if you don't give anything, how are you ever going to walk in blessing? You give skimpy, you're going to receive skimpy. Right? You sow bountifully, the Bible says you're going to reap it. I'm a giver. I love to give. I give all the time. Amen? Even when I'm at a restaurant. Man, I just love to make them look shocked when I hand, you know, some extra blessing into their hands. You live that way? All right, you ready? So, watch what happens. Verse 13, Genesis 26. He gives or he sows, and the man waxed great. Now, don't you believe these preachers and people who tell you that God does not want you blessed? The Lord was the one that made him great. Why? Because he operated in a principle that God said works. In difficult times is not the time to get fearful. And withhold your hand. Amen? All right. Are you ready? All right. Let's stand to our feet. I'm going to pray a prayer. And then we're going to ask God to bless you. And the ushers are going to serve you.